It started here in the Beaches neighborhood of Toronto. A seemingly innocuous publication started arriving in people's mailboxes free of charge. But today, a Toronto judge ruled that its content is filled with hate. I'm Christina Howard, and in today, James Sears and Leroy St. Germain, the editor and publishers of Your War News, were convicted on two counts of willful promotion of hatred against an identifiable group, namely Jews and women. Yeah, so. For the first time in Canadian history, not only was this charge laid, this Section 319 charge promoting hatred against women uh, laid, but it, they were found guilty. Uh, this is a, a, a great day, a historic day for women and, of course, everyone identified within uh, Your Ward News who's been targeted with their hate. Your Ward News has been publishing for several years. The free publication was initially delivered by Canada Post, but when the national mail carrier would no longer deliver the newsletter because of its content, volunteers were enlisted to spread its message. Some sharing the paper far outside of the beaches, hitting communities as far as Kingston and London. Today, the judge ruled that its message was simply hate. We disagree completely uh, because the judge doesn't know what was in our minds when we published it. He's assuming that we willfully promoted hate, which we did not. You need to look at all of your word news to see how homophobic and anti-Semitic and racist and misogynistic it is. That's exactly what Justice Bluen did. In his ruling, he points to an article from last summer. Mr. Sears attempts to explain the reasons behind the terrorist attack on Young Street in Toronto in April 2018, which killed 10 people, Blue and writes, and then quotes Your Ward News. And now it all makes sense. I guarantee you that some cruel feminist set him off. Trust me on that. She and the vaccine manufacturers are just as responsible for those dead bodies as he is. Sears claims that his publication is the largest Christian-backed newspaper in the world. And while he argued that the articles were satirical, he presents himself as a crusader for free speech. I, I feel like I was being crucified. Actually, I do feel the pain in my wrist that Jesus felt, except in my case, it's carpal tunnel. The court wasn't laughing. Mr. Sears consistently, throughout the publication, denied the Holocaust and glorified Adolf Hitler, Justin Bluen wrote in his decision. There was a lot of um, uh, damage done to the community with multiple publications circulated throughout Ontario and also online. Uh, lots of uh, people were victimized as a result. Sears says he'll continue to publish. No, of course. Change the content. The we're going to continue content. publishing um, our unfiltered thoughts as we always have. This isn't speech. It's hate propaganda. It is the most foul and vile expressions of hatred against women and Jews and members of the LGBTQ community that you can find. The rise of hate against women, sexism in general, this is not okay. And the judge clearly laid that out today, that misogyny will not be tolerated. Now, this verdict does come with the potential for jail time, and this is not Sears' first offense. He was convicted on two counts of sexual assault in the early 1990s. Both Sears and Leroy St. Germain say they plan on appealing the judge's decision. On Queen Street East, Christina Howard, City News.